directory, we will launch the same contact utility web application that we used in our DB Instance Lifecycle web application app. The step-by-step -step instructions are very similar to each other. We will create a VPC with private and public subnets. Create additional private subnet. Create two VPC security groups, one for web server public access and the other one for database private access. Create a DB subnet group. Instead of creating DB instance, we create Aurora cluster with Aurora serverless option. Create a web server on EC2 instance. Set up Aurora MySQL database through MySQL Workbench. Install web application on EC2 instance. Then process the code operations on web application. After we done the code options, we will clean up Aurora cluster and VPC. Because the steps are similar to the previous lab, I will put some steps on faster mode. If you need to learn the details of those steps, please go back to DB Instance Lifecycle chapter. Aurora Serverless is not a free on free tier account, but the charge for this lab is very minimum, less than $1. Make sure you are okay with the charge from AWS before you do the test. Go to VPC. Click VPC with public and private subnets. Enter VPC's name, public and private subnet names. Select same availability zone for public and private subnet. Select a NAT in instance then click Create VPC button. After the VPC is created, click Subnets. Create another private subnet by entering subnet name. Select My VPC. Select a different availability zone and enter the different IPCIDI blocks. Click Security Groups. Create two security groups. The Public Access Security Group, MyVPCSG, is for web server. Editor is inboard rules by ending HTTP with port 80 for source from everywhere 0.0.0/0 and SSH with port 22 from your local IP. The private access security group myvpc-dbsg is for database. Editor is inborn rules by ending MySQL slash Aurora with port 3306 from the public access security group MyVPCSG. Go to RDS. Click Subnet Groups. Enter group name. Select VPC MyVPC we just created. Click and all the subnets related to this VPC. Remove public subnet. On RDS console, select clusters. Click create database button. Select Amazon Aurora. Select MySQL 5.6 compatible for Aurora serverless capacity. Click the next button.
select a serverless option, enter DB cluster settings, enter the DB identify, master username and password. Click the next button. Under the advanced settings, we can utilize additional scaling configuration. We choose Aurora serverless so the database will automatically start up, shut down, and scale up or down capacity based on the application's needs. Aurora Serverless enables you to run your database in the cloud without managing any database instances. We can change the maximum Aurora capacity units let us choose 8, which is the 16 GB RAM for this test. Select My VPC. Choose existing VPC security groups. Select the private access security group My VPC DBSG and remove the default one. Under the additional configurations, keep everything as default. The only thing I want to point out here is on the backup. You can see the backup retention period is one day. Also, the encryption has the master key, the default master key, AWS slash RDS. If you click the link next to backup relation period, you can see Aurora offer one day backup retention for free, which is good. And you also can see the encryption with the master key. This is the default one. Click the Create Database button. Let's go to the EC2 console. Click Launch Instance button, select Linux AMI with PHP and MySQL, select a T2Die Micro Instance type for free, configure instance details by selecting My VPC, selecting Public Subnet, enabling the auto assigned pub public IP. Under the Advanced Details, Copy and paste installation sub subscripts. Select a public web access security group, MyVPC SG. I will use the existing key pair. If you don't have, you can choose a new key pair. After you done the EC2 instance, you can confirm the installation by opening Web Explorer, then entering the HTTP.